All right, I know this is going to be tough for some of you to hear, but if you are a Tesla shareholder or you want to own Tesla stock, it is vital that you hear what I have to say and understand the entire thing. Don't just jump down to the comments now saying I'm shorting Tesla or other silly things like that before actually listening to what I'm going to say. I will show you exactly how Elon is hurting Tesla stock. But, and hold on, this is a big but, I will tell you why I love it as a long-term shareholder and you should too. So if you appreciate the honesty and the truth, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. And if you don't like the truth and want hype instead, well, I'm sorry, I just can't help you out there. So to be clear and upfront, I own Tesla stock, I am a long-term shareholder, and will continue to be into the future. I have bought Tesla on this current down period and will continue to buy as opportunities present themselves. I am a Tesla bull, maybe not as ridiculous as this guy, but still a Tesla bull. So now that's all out of the way, let's break down how Tesla stock is being hurt by Elon. I mean, I think we can all agree Elon is just different. I mean, he goes left when others go right. He dreams the impossible while others kind of tote the corporate line. Almost to a fault, let's be honest here, guys. And he has no filter. He loves to poke fun at his competitors, at anyone who disagrees with him, and even the government. But his constant battle with the SEC has hurt Tesla shareholders. And I'll give you more details on exactly how in just a second. His antics with Bitcoin, which has raised the ire of the entire crypto community who, you know, were kind of loving him just a few weeks ago, has created an unnecessary controversy around Tesla. This has hurt shareholders. His tweets about Bitcoin have sent crypto on a wild ride already. He moves markets. He knows he moves markets and still cannot resist moving them. This hurts Tesla shareholders. Heck, the guy is just so lovable to many of us. Scammers used his name to scam some people out of $2 million in crypto. This hurts Tesla shareholders, even if it's not fair and it really shouldn't hurt us. So how specifically does all this hurt Tesla stock, you may ask? Well, it prevents Wall Street, large funds, and other well-backed investors from investing in Tesla. So what, you may say? Screw those guys. We don't want them on our rocket ship to Mars anyways. Well, here's the truth about all stocks. Not just Tesla, all stocks. It took all of us, meaning, you know, you and I, the retail investors, to move Tesla from a $50 billion market cap all the way up to a seven or $800 billion market cap, whatever the heck it was. And that was with margin at all time highs and people yellowing everything on Tesla. The effort was incredible in and of itself, but that was kind of beyond our max. We as a collective could not sustain those levels, much less push Tesla any higher. So the unfortunate reality and truth behind stocks is you absolutely need big money behind you to push Tesla to a $1 trillion, $2 trillion, $5 trillion market cap. If those guys do not get on board, we will not see Tesla at those numbers. That is the truth, and that is the bottom line with any stock, and that includes Tesla. We can say it's not fair or not right or anything else like that. It doesn't freaking matter, guys. I'm sorry. This is the reality with all stocks at some point if they want to continue to grow. Also keep in mind, Tesla is already trading very rich. So you're asking Wall Street and big money to get behind something they don't like in the first place and pay a premium too. I'm thinking that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. And that's probably why we've seen Tesla fade over the past couple of months. And that's also why we've seen a lot of short sellers like Michael Berry take out some very large short positions against Tesla. They know the same facts we do. And it's why I've been warning since February that we could see a major Tesla correction and that Tesla in the 400s was a possibility. We've been very close to that since I started saying that. And I said that a lot. I'm sorry, you guys know what I mean. And I still don't think we're completely out of the woods just yet, at least not until later in the summer. What will you do if Tesla does get to the 400s? What is your plan? Well, thankfully, this video sponsor, The Private Group, is designed to keep you from panic selling and instead confidently execute your plan and take advantage of it. Oh, you don't have a plan? Well, we have free courses and exclusive videos to help you do that step by step. Still got questions after that? We do a live Q&A weekly and there is a section in the private discord to ask me there too, or you can just PM me. And actually the group usually post answers that are great too. We are smarter together than alone trying to fight Wall Street. So if you're interested in joining our team, it's the first link in the description. All right, so despite all the doom and gloom, why do I love that Elon is hurting us as shareholders? 
Am I some kind of weird freak or something? Oh, wait, don't answer that. I probably am, but that's not why I love it. It's actually really simple. I'm a long-term investor and my time horizon is years. Not months, not days, it's years. I also know that even though Tesla did get ahead of itself, there is so much coming for Tesla in the future that it's going to be a tidal wave of revenue and profitability. Those great things do not come to life without Elon being Elon. A buttoned up CEO does not have the guts, the vision, or the drive to create what Tesla is creating. It just won't happen. And there is one thing Wall Street loves more than a Harvard MBA CEO, and that is massive revenue growth and huge profits, which those are only possible with Elon running Tesla, eccentricities, Twitter craziness, and all the other good stuff that comes along with them. Wall Street will begrudgingly jump on board when that time comes and Tesla cannot be ignored or dismissed anymore. This has happened many times before with eccentric CEOs who Wall Street just didn't like, but eventually they could not ignore the stock any longer, and it will happen with Tesla and Elon too. So in the meantime, just sit back, relax, execute your plan, and enjoy the discounts Wall Street is giving us with Tesla. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.